Hey YouTube, today we're back with an Apple review video. We're going to review the Apple iPod Touch 2012-2011 edition. So today we just really don't know how to set it up. So you know, based on the iPod Touch with the front facing camera, center definition, the touch screen, the home button, um, the side you have your two physical volume, the right side, nothing as usual. The top you have your standby power and off, power on and off. The bottom 32 pin dock, your speaker grill and your headphones jack. And the back you have your high definition camera and your mic. I follow logo, the capacity and that's pretty much all. Let's start by turning on. And there you go. So, first time you turn it on, you will get this screen. So, the top left corner, you have the sign. The, this is iPod. A lock indicator and a battery capacity meter. Um, this is iPod and then you know, the regular welcome logos. I mean, sorry, translation. So slide to start. So you click English. English, nice. Country or region. So you Location services. It says location services allows maps and other apps to gather and use data indicating your approximate location. So yes, we like to use that. So anyway, so location. Um, Wi-Fi. So let's get the Wi-Fi in first. Set up iPod, choose to set up as a new iPod Touch or restore from backup. The options are set as a new iPod Touch, restore from iCloud backup, and restore from iTunes backup. So we we'll set up one. Apple ID says your Apple ID is used to set up to set up iCloud, App Store, iTunes Store, and more on your iPod Touch. So we we'll just gonna skip this. But this is to the iOS terms and conditions agree and diagnostic use and usage we only use don't send don't send and next now it says your iPod touch is now set up you're ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever and then you click start using iPod touch and there you go right at your home screen so you get your basic home screen so you have to home screen and you search. Um, so this is let's check what version this is. This is a web general file and no software update. And it says iOS 5.1. Your software is up to date. And what that means that this iOS. Update 5.1. It has FaceTime, which allows you to contact any iOS device. This includes iPhone, iPod, and iPad on a Wi-Fi 
click it started this is with any context the you might have currently this is the same photo the same camera I have two cameras one front facing and one back facing click download and later and this is pretty much the same so we have the back facing let's take a picture live but for iOS devices and you just use your Apple ID and pastor um your newsstand which feels all your magazines and news articles and it says you can download sorry says you can download magazines and you can download magazines and newspapers in the app store now you have iTunes which allows you to download content from iTunes via your iOS device. So we have music videos searching for it. So then purchase and and more. The app store which you can download all your apps and games from using your iOS I mean your Apple ID password and login. Uh, settings and then you have messages which is awesome and which you can allow you to chat with any iOS device on Wi-Fi. Uh, let's see what this is. it says. iMessage can be sent between iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Alright and same stocks and folder utilities you have contacts, cal calculator, and voice message. You double click the home button you have your task bar, which allows you to change the volume, um, your music controls, and whether to have it on portrait lock, on and off, and the ability to close the app. So you hold on for about two seconds. This puts mine to get ready to close them completely while they use to be running in the background. Um, what also new is that at the very top you have iOS drop down menu which drops down which drops down the menu similar to Android OS but this is for iOS uh, you have places to view the local weather your, your stock in real time and and the new notification we now don't have any recommend that is installed and to access the uh, notification settings go to settings Then you go to notifications and you can sort them by time or manually and in the notification center you have all these. In the bottom it says nine notifications so you can also change that. Let's close all that. And yeah, that's pretty much all. Please stay tuned for more.